as we wrap up this week, we are looking forward to the next week. And next week is Mental Illness Awareness Week, and which is why we invited our friends from NAMI Lansing to join us to have some great conversations about how you can get involved and in the importance of having this spotlight on this week. Welcome into Studio yes, 10. Thank you for having thank us. Glad to be here. Yes, it's a great weather for great discussions. Let's first talk a little bit about NAMI Lansing and all the amazing work that goes on there and why there's a need for it. Yeah, so NAMI Lansing is one of six 600 affiliates and so we're super excited that we have one here in Lansing and our main goal is to educate support and be advocates to individuals and their families who may be experiencing mental illness mm -hmm. and is that something we see here in, in the Lansing area we absolutely do see it here in the Lansing area and so our goal is to help again support those individuals with programming uh, most people do get help who have uh, mental illness. However, there is a small, severe population who may have a severe mental illness that need additional help as well. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important. Yes, um, we have a special advocacy event coming up next week for Mental Illness Awareness Week called Before the Mental Health Crisis to help inform families and, and professionals also about the options for helping people who are really severely impacted by a mental illness and may not have insight into their disease about how what types of things can help move them into treatment because we know that for everybody early intervention in yes. mental health disorders can result in better outcomes yes. right getting that early intervention as you were saying and so you'll be having a panel discussion about that who's going to be on the panel what we'll be hearing uh, next Wednesday for this event yes. well the panel is led by um, Judge Milton Mack who's the state court administrator emeritus mm -hmm. and has been a real statewide leader in advocating for access to assisted outpatient treatment where people can receive a court ordered or court assisted treatment outside of the hospital. We also have representatives from the Center for Behavioral Health and Justice and the Community Mental Health Authority of Clinton Eatman Ingham Counties. Wow, what a stacked panel. There's definitely going to be some great discussions that are happening on there. So for the folks from the community that come in, what do you hope that they leave with? What conversations do that you hope this sparks or action that this sparks in our area? So one of the things we want to make sure that they are is informed, educated. Um, when someone has a mental illness diagnosis, there's some traumas that are associated with that, right? And so individuals who become in this cyclical uh, pattern of possibly homelessness, interacting with law enforcement, in and out of hospital, this uh, type of treatment and service specifically helps them uh, to, to help stabilize and be able to uh, get back on a path where they're able to be just productive. Yeah. And that's what we want. Uh, families to know that individuals can be supported and the families can be supported. That's right. So how can people, read, do we have to register for this event? How can we get a hold uh, and be a part of these important conversations? Well, we're super excited that you do have to register. <laughs> uh, we want to make sure that we include you in those numbers. However, if you don't, we're still going to let you in. Uh, <laughs> but it's really great because physicians, nurses, social workers will be able to get CEUs as well. Oh. So in order to register, we're going to have you go to www.namilansing.org. Perfect. Yes. And I think, yep, we have it right there on the screen so people can't miss it there. And if, if they go to this event, get this education and this information and want to find more resources or continue that education, what are some other resources that we can go into? Well, the NAMI, of course, has our support groups and classes and presentations for community members that we can bring to your home or your school or mm -hmm. your place of, not home, but place of work yeah. or uh, um, school. And then people should be aware of the 988, the yes. new mental health crisis line. Mm -hmm. So people can call 988 and speak to a crisis counselor. It's available 24-7. There's a special option there for veterans and they can find someone to help them determine their next steps. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming here thank and you. just starting a conversation that I know will continue yes. to happen next week during that event uh, on October 4th. And we'll have all the information, of course, online, but register and, and, and continue this. So thank you guys so much thank for you. joining us. And on Studio 10, coming